Serving Singles episode 4. Today we're going to be doing cornbread dressing. We're going to need a quarter of a cup of onion, a quarter of a cup of celery chopped, one egg yolk, salt, pepper, paprika. I use a little bit of dill, dried parsley, white pepper, black pepper, all those things to taste. We're also going to need one slice of very, very dry white bread and one piece of cornbread that's about twice as much cornbread as white bread. We're also going to need about four ounces of chicken stock, which we're going to mix them with the egg yolk right here and then set aside. After we get that mixed in, we're going to set that aside and then we're going to go ahead and melt the butter on about medium heat. We don't want to do any browning at all, just letting the butter melt enough to coat the celery and the onion whenever we go ahead and add that in there. From here you can go ahead and add any and all seasonings you want that are extra. Uh, salt, pepper, white pepper, I've got the parsley, the dill. You don't want to add the paprika right now if you are going to add it. It can burn in direct heat and we really don't want burnt flavors going on right now. Once the celery and the onion are done cooking, we can go ahead and bring the bread back over and just kind of pour it in there as it cools. It's really not going to do anything to the bread. We just want to mix it around so that the bread can start absorbing all that butter. We can go ahead and set that aside and bring back over our egg and stock mixture. We are going to add that remaining butter. We don't need a fully smooth mixture, just enough to where it comes together most of the way. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Finally done, I guess. We're going to go ahead and add that wet mixture onto the bread and just really give it a good mix. This is going to be really wet looking, but I promise it will all come together once it bakes. If you want it to be a little thicker or a little drier, you can use a little less stock or maybe add in a little bit more cornbread. Small adjustments like that shouldn't change the overall dish, so you should be alright. If you are going to add the paprika, go ahead and add it in now. I'm also going to add in some of the other spices again, so that way we can fully get the dressing mixture seasoned all the way through. Full disclosure, that is me mixing in some uh, fried onions that were left over from green bean casserole. Just wanted to see how it would come out. It wasn't bad. We are going to bake this at 350 degrees. I like to go for about 40 minutes. Honestly, you can go longer, you can go shorter, depends on how you want it. If you want it a little bit runny, which some people do you cook it a little bit less maybe 30 35 minutes if you want it a little bit more dry a little bit more crispy maybe a darker brown crust on the top cook it a little bit longer but i like to go for about 40 minutes give a little bit of a golden crust still moist on the inside see just like that i was a bit weary on making this one because usually when i make dressing i'll usually use some sort of sausage or the gizzard or some sort of throwaway part of the turkey but this one actually came out not bad without the meat. I know everybody does dressing just a little bit differently. Everybody's got their regional thing that they do but this is the way I like to do my cornbread dressing. <laughs> 